When you have a thin film on the surface of a reflective material like gold or other materials like that, you can't analyze that by transmission. Uh, it may be too thin or uh, difficult to analyze by ATR, but a very good technique for that is something called specular reflection. And specular reflection is also known by another title, a little bit longer, infrared, Reflection Absorption Spectroscopy, or IRAS. The way this works is very straightforward. You have a surface which is reflective, okay? So this is like gold or aluminum or some material like that that, if, that is reflective. And on that surface, you have a very thin film. And that film can be down to microns thick. Uh, we've actually been able to study, using a modification of this that I'll come to in a minute, uh, monolayers, uh, langmuir blodgett films, things like that. So then the infrared beam is directed down onto the sample at some angle. And as it passes through the sample, it interacts with it. If we enlarge that point right there where the surface is and then the sample on the surface, then the infrared beam is passing down through the sample and back out. Remember, this is all a coating, so it's all here. So the beam is passing through it twice. This is why it's called reflection absorption because it's reflecting and it's being absorbed. The path length is both passes through the sample. Okay, and then that beam, since it's specularly reflected, just goes right on through our optics to our detector, and we pick it up. Now, this is great for thin films, as I said, that are on the surface. The one variable that you can introduce into this, well, there's a couple of variables, but one of the variables is the angle at which you pass through the sample. As you become more steep, and again, let's look at this enlargement, as it becomes more steep, you can see we're passing through more of the sample. So in the first case, we pass through that much of the sample. In the second case, we pass through that much. So you're passing through more of the sample. You get better sensitivity for thin films. So you probably will want, if you have a really thin film, you want to come in at a grazing angle. And this is where the Sega accessory that we'll look at when we go into the lab, it's a grazing angle accessory. Another part of this is the fact that there is some polarization dependence of the light that's absorbed and reflected. We won't get into the details, but let's just say that one polarization gives you noise where the other one gives you signal. So the Sega actually has a polarizer built into it so that the light coming in is polarized in the direction that only gives you the signal. But the trick we can play is what's called polarization modulation, PMIRAS. In the case of PMIRAS, you have a digital, polar, a digital modulator that actually sits there and modulates the polarization back and forth, and then quickly collecting the two allows you to get real high sensitivity about the surface. So that's the idea of specular reflection. Thin film on a surface, the beam comes in at a grazing angle, and the steeper that angle is, the steeper you are relative to that surface, the more of the sample you're seeing. So now let's go in the lab and look at a few samples.